Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here. Today we have another Pokemon Legends Arceus video. Now this video does contain spoilers. There's no story spoilers. Well, there are new Pokemon spoilers, which I talked about the other day. I mean, it's not, I'm not, obviously not going to tell you anything about the story, but... Oh, well, that Pokemon exists in the story? Maybe you consider that a spoiler. Don't watch the video if you do not want to be spoiled, period, on anything Pokemon Legends Arceus. But in today's video, we will be going over... The uh, new updated movesets and also the movesets for the uh, new Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus as well as some pretty insane buffs for old Pokemon as well. Again, I'm going to talk for a little bit longer just because I don't want people accidentally to be spoiled if they don't want to. I'm trying to stress that and I don't want them when they're you know, scrolling through YouTube. But if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Leave a comment about certain Pokemon that I missed in this as well. I'll leave the doc down below as well. Shout out to Roy. For the dock itself and uh, also uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new I mean I upload Pokemon videos every single day we got the new Pokemon game coming out at the end of the week as well that should be a lot of fun to be streaming that a 253 hour marathon so that'd be a lot of fun in itself but without further ado let us get into the new Pokemon their move sets their move tutors and just some of the insane buffs that Pokemon do have in this now keep in mind I'm not really as excited about it for the game itself, I'm thinking like whatever game after Pokemon Legends Arceus that these Pokemon would be allowed into, right? Like imagine they gave, uh, imagine they gave like Keldeo or like something Flamethrower, right? Like I guess that's cool in this game, but imagine Flamethrower, Keldeo in actual Pokemon, like 66 actual battles or VGC actual battles type of thing, right? So yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. So the first Pokemon we're going to be talking about is Hisuian Arcanine. So we do have its level up move pool, and like I said, I'll be leaving this doc down below. And again, anything I miss, which is why I'm going to leave the doc, I would love you guys to point out certain things like, oh, uh, Manaphy now has Recover. It, it doesn't, but just like something like that, if I miss it, like, yo, you missed this, leave me, and wh what are you most excited for as well? So Hisuian Arcanine, we now have its level up move pool. Um, not the greatest level up move pool, of course, but... A few things that we do notice here is that it does not have access to extreme speed. So this Pokemon no longer has access to extreme speed. It did get Rock Slide though, so I'm glad that the Rock Fire type got a Rock type attack. And we'll talk about Move Tutors in a second as well because it also got Stone Edge, which is good. But I'm glad it still gets Flare Blitz. It also has this new move called Raging Fury, which we'll be looking at right here. Uh, the user rampages and spews vicious flames to inflict damage on the target, then becomes fixated on using this move. It is a fire, a physical move, 90 base power, 85% accuracy. Now, the key, the key words right here says, then becomes fixated on using this move. Now, when I think about rage, you know, the, the move actually itself, rage, the more you use it, the more it powers up, right? Uh, and the more you're, you're, you know, you get hit, the more you power up as well, and then you keep using it. But, and like the rage continues to grow. But this one says more so fixated on using it, not that it powers up the move. So I'm thinking, is it more like uproar? Whereas you use it and you have to use it again type of thing. But it also doesn't have a confusion thing or even like a cooldown or anything. So I'm not sure what Raging Fury is. It is 90 base power though and physical, but 85% accuracy. Honestly, I'm going with Flare Blitz. It's stronger. Yes, there is recoil. But on this Pokemon with its base, 115 attacks. That again, if you if you know nothing about these stats as well, I did another video talking about all the Pokemon and their stats in that video. I have that linked somewhere. I mean, you can just click on like the little pop-up things, it'll be there. But we do still have flare blitz. Um, and on top of that, besides that here, nothing really in the move pool is standing out. Maybe crunch, but I don't think that matters too much. What is big is flare blitz, right? No extreme speed either is also big. But if you look at the move tutors it gets. It still gets Stone Edge, or it does get Stone Edge, which is awesome. So now we have, you know, one of the best Rock type attacks. Even though Stone Edge is also one of the worst Rock type attacks, all Rock type moves are bad because they can miss. I just want a strong physical Rock type move that does not miss and has no bad secondary effect. You know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't. I just make it 90 or 100 base power, no secondary effect, right? Stone Edge can crit, so that's cool. Uh, rocks I can flinch, that's cool. Give me moves that do not miss. All right, we got Power Gem on the special side. That's 70 base power, if I'm not mistaken. So, a few other move tutors and stuff that it does get. Um, wild Charge is also pretty cool, too. So, we do have the Wild Charge as well. So, Arcanine continues to have that coverage. So, I think the big thing is obviously going to be Flare Blitz, Stone Edge, and Wild Charge. Uh, and then, for the most part, obviously, Wild Charge is good for the water types. But uh, Stone Edge, for some part, can also be decent like on Choice Band sets. So that'd be cool. Uh, and then, on top of that, the other things that I see here that come to mind, we do see Bulldoze. 
Uh, the only reason I'm mentioning bulldoze is because I was hoping it might get earthquake, but we, I mean, we get bulldoze, which is something it had before as well, but it doesn't have close combat anymore, right? Like this Arcanine also doesn't seem to have close combat either, but uh, yeah, it doesn't have close combat anymore, which kind of sucks, but maybe that'll be a change going into future games. Uh, and Iron Head, Iron Tail or something else that comes to mind. We see Player Off and Outrage as well, but the big ones are obviously Wild Charge and Stone Edge. So I'm glad this homie actually got a rock type attack that's good with its 115 base uh, attack so um, we're gonna be going over to the next pokemon obviously if there's anything else you see here obviously snarl for like vgc sounds cool but like on for like actual vgc not on this because there's nothing no competitive of legends but again we're talking about future stuff as well and again we're gonna be going over the newer ones and then we're gonna be going over the old ones so let's look at electro so we have electro right here uh, we do see Energy Ball already in Hisuian Voltorb, so that's awesome. So it already has a Grass-type uh, attack. It also has the exact same stats, if you didn't know, as regular Electro 2. So 80 special attack, 150 speed, etc., etc. Uh, so a few things we see here. Energy Ball, again, that is fantastic. We have the Grass and the Electric Coverage. Rotom Mo already does this. I'm happy they gave us a way of... Especially because they took out Hidden Power, right? Uh, though Hidden Power is in this game. I don't know if it'll be in future games, if it will be just like it is in this game, because if you didn't know the way Hidden Power works, is 50 base power, and it's always super effective against the opponent, which has some weird things in itself. Like, does that mean it's going to pick water versus landers instead of ice versus Gastrodon? It's going to be four times because of it has to be grass, or is it just like apply super effective damage? Who the hell knows? But we have Electro uh, Energy Ball right there, and then we have a new move in Chloroblast. Uh, so the way Chloroblast works is... The user launches, it's, it's a mass chlorophyll to inflict damage on the target. This also damages the user and lowers the user's action speed. So this is 120 base um, power, special, and 95 accuracy. I am assuming this is not, this does not need sun charge, right? Just when I think of chlorophyll, I think of like solar beam and solar blade, but um, I'm assuming it doesn't need it. So that's nice. It's 120 base power. However, it is a recoil move. And uh, it also lowers your speed as well. So that's interesting to have that sort of secondary thing. Now, I don't think that's going to affect Electro too much because it's 150 base speed. So even at minus one speed, and again, I'm thinking about future games, that's not the worst thing in the world. I'd rather have 120 base power attack to finish off a Hippowdon type of thing uh, than Energy Ball failing to. But again, you'll be able to take an Earthquake anyway because it'll be neutral. Um, so that might fit into like choice spec sets, right? You have like this, you have Energy Ball. Volts with Thunderbolt, that might be a sort of thing. Uh, I also saw that on the, on this, we see Ice Ball. <laughs> Why? <laughs> nice Bolt Beam coverage. I'm laughing because if you don't know how Ice Ball works, it's basically roll out, right? It's roll out for Ice type attacks. And it gets stronger and stronger and you're locked into it and when it misses, it sucks, right? Now, obviously, Ice Ball is a ball. It's, it's a ball. So, I mean... Cool, they gave it Ice Ball, and they gave it Ice Coverage, which is cool, right? Like, if I could have Hidden Power, I would have Hidden Power Ice on Electrode with the uh, Electric plus Grass Coverage. But it's physical, which is the problem. And Electrode has 50 base attack. So just to show you how little that is, uh, we'll open up Pokemon Channel right here, and because they have the exact same stats, uh, we'll just get Electrode right now. Oh, that's fine. We'll put you in National Dex because there you go. That's that boy's attack, man. That's that boy's attack invested. And it's like 218. Yeah, th this is terrible. This is terrible. But it could be salvageable on maybe like... It, it would be pretty freaking awesome if something like Garchomp came in and I energy balled them or chloroblasted them or energy balled them and then I went for ice ball after and knocked them out or like something versus lander so you might see that tech on it I don't think it's the biggest thing for Electro, especially when it comes to competitive I don't think it matters so much it's just hilarious to me that it has that it is actually hilarious to me that they have that but another cool one that we have here is Quillfish so let's go to Quillfish and then we'll be going over other Pokemon like I said guys leave comments down below of some things that we damn that only, only learns one thing huh nah but it's Hisuian so obviously we have this version so, cool things about Quillfish, and then we'll look at Overquill in a bit. But it still has spikes, freaking awesome. Uh, it is poison and dark, if you didn't know. So it having uh, dark pulse and and water. Well, dark pulse is whatever. I don't think dark pulse matters at all, uh, mainly because that's a special attack, and Quillfish has 55 special attack. 
So that's not an important thing, but to know it has that. But we do see Barb Barrage. So let's see what that move actually ends up being. Uh, that would be right here. 60 base power, 100% accuracy. Was that 15 PP? The user launches countless toxic barbs. Oh, I already know this one. It's the one that doubles. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, this is the user launches countless toxic barbs to inflict poison. This may also poison the target. 30%. This move power is doubled if the target has a status condition. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like Hex, but a little weaker. So yeah, this is a great move, obviously, on Quillfish, period. I've looked at this before. This is a great move on Quillfish, obviously, so I'm, gra I'm glad it has that. Uh, a few other things, and we're going to look at Overquill in a second. So I love the idea of, like, spikes plus... Um, whether it be on Switzerland, because it also has Switzerland, Intimidate, and Poison Point. Uh, I like the idea of having the um, that, obviously, on the, the Sunny Day sets, or Swift Swim sets. And Quillfish just Violet just sounds really cool, too. So we'll look at Quillfish here, and then we'll look at Overquill. Please show me the Quillfish already. Thank you. Uh, other things that it does have, Ice Ball, okay. Uh, we have Poison Jab, and nothing else really, just Icy Wind could be cool in Draft League. Nothing else really stands out to me. Aqua Tail, good water coverage. But, I mean, it already had that right here. So now we'll look at Overquill, one of the sickest names for a Pokemon ever, in my opinion. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Let me know. Like, I actually think it's freaking amazing. Okay, so, similar. Exact same thing. Just better stats, right? Water Pulse, Dark Pulse, Poison Jab. Yeah, so exact same move pull, uh, basically. But, I mean, this mod has 115 base attack versus 95. 95 defense. Like, it's, it's, it's a good Pokemon. It is already a good Pokemon. But, do you learn anything new here? Overquill. Spikes, Poison Jab, Icy Wind. No, basically the exact same thing. But, I mean, this mod with uh, Dark Poison, because it has Poison Jab. Actually, this is the weird part. Because what I'm noticing is, you don't have a good Dark Stab on the physical side at all. Right? Because... That move is poison, which is what you're going to use over poison jab. Because while it may be weaker, you have that. And then you have Aqua Tail, obviously, as well. But they don't give you good dark stab. Dark pulse is absolutely trash. I mean, dark pulse is a good move, but it's trash on this Pokemon because this Pokemon doesn't have... Um, it just it, it doesn't have special attack stat. So that's really, really odd. Uh, and that actually kind of limits its move pull a lot. I mean, I'm sure self-destruct is fine. That's still still strong enough even though they nerfed it just like they nerfed explosion but that was way back in the day they nerfed it too huh this pokemon's still exciting because swift swim obviously has aqua tail and then it'll be uh stronger in rain not in this game but in uh because because the interesting thing is that in this game and this is something that people pointed out which is why i like when you guys do comments right uh in this game the new mechanic for rain is that it weakens fire type attacks but it does not say anything about strengthening water type attacks and that was a really good catch by you guys so i'm that's why i love like i said i love when you guys leave comments because there's things i miss uh so in further future games i'm sure it's gonna be uh, like normal but yeah so aqua tail uh you have bar barrage spikes and what self-destruct so it kind of sucks that this pokemon has no good dark move to really take advantage of i don't even think it'd have something like a knockoff or anything maybe in the future i'm trying to think of what dark moves dark can it be a lariat no crunch maybe uh, it doesn't really have a mouth i don't know man i don't think it had knockoff either so i'm trying to think of like what moves this pokemon could potentially have on the physical side faint bro even like faint attack or something i, I swear cool used to learn faint attack but yeah so that mod not the not the greatest uh, i mean awesome pokemon but not the greatest in terms of what it learns uh, it doesn't really have too much coverage so uh, let's look at Sneasel real quick. We have regular Sneasel right there. Oh god, this is like this is like GSC level, up, bro. They gave this mod nothing. But we do have uh, Sneasler. Or we have Sneasel and then obviously Sneasler. So, cool things we see here. Obviously, Poison Jab in close combat. Fantastic. Uh, and then if we look at Sneasel here, that's great for your for your stab because you're, you're poisoned and, and fighting. Uh, what else we have here for this Pokemon? Drain Punch. Awesome. Uh, Iron Tail doesn't really help for coverage. Exit is whatever, it's, uh, just like that. Uh, we have Swords Dance and Bulk Up. Bulk Up is interesting, but it doesn't have the best defenses. And uh, that's that's about it when it comes to that, huh? So it doesn't have Knock Off anymore. Or Knock Off probably, probably not even in the game. Let's look at Sneasler, though. And again, some of these I'm looking at for the first time. Others I've already seen, but very similar. Uh, dire Claw is the uh, new move for this homie. And that is, we don't know the type. 
The user lashes out at the target with Runa's Claws, aiming to land a critical hit. This may also leave the target poison, paralyzed, or drowsy. I mean, that's a good secondary thing, and I'm thinking in the future, too. That's a nasty secondary ability to have, and it has a chance to crit, too. 60 base power. Uh, if this thing does not actually get, you know, and, and on top of that, you have its own ability, Poison Touch, right? So if this thing doesn't actually get, like, real coverage, because it's a fighting type and doesn't have, like, Ice Punch or anything in coverage in the future games, um, which we can see, well, this is... Move tutors in the game itself, so obviously it wouldn't be that. But uh, let's see anything interesting. False swipe for good ca catching mons in game. Yeah, so if it doesn't have like real coverage, right? You'll have like move sets most likely with that. Um, poison jab, close combat. Uh, what is it? Dire claw? Is that what it's called? Yeah, dire claw. And honestly, drain punch on like a bandit set. Is that what you run? It does have power shift though, which is the user swaps its offensive and defensive stats interesting so it would swap its which is a new move uh, it would swap its 130 attack to 130 defense and then also it's 80 special defense to 40 special defense to 40 special attack all right to 80 special attack which would mean <laughs> This mod has no special moves anyway, so that was just a waste of freaking time. But maybe you do that with Calm Mind, and then you still have no moves to use. What the hell? That's an interesting move, though, because on Eviolite, Sneasel, you get that 95 defense, but then you get worse special defense. Huh. <laughs> Don't use that. That move does sound very interesting, though, because another mod gets that, and we'll get into that later. Uh, a really cool mod for that. And, of course, we have uh, Hisui and Lilligant, so let's look up Lilligant as well. Blah. Let's see, we have regular Lilligan right here. Yep, standard dot, quiver dance still. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so a few things this mod got, right? They gave it sleep powder. Still. Sick. It has close combat still. Sick. It has leaf blade still. Sick. It has recover, which is crazy because regular Lilligan only had synthesis. So this mod actually has recover now. So that's that's nasty, right? Now, granted, this mod doesn't have the best defenses, right? It's 75, 75, and it has 70 HP. But recover is like on light form, three attack sets. That sounds pretty nasty, right? And then uh, before we look up what Victory Dance does, let's just put Lilligan right here too. There we go. Other moves here that came to mind. I mean, it's uh, a grass fighter. You got poison jab. You have drain punch. Aerial Ace, not the strongest coverage here, to be honest. Poison coverage isn't usually the best. I mean, you already got Leaf Blade, so you don't really need much else. But let's see what Victory Dance does. Uh, are you in order? There it is. Okay. The user performs a dance to usher in victory. This raises the user's offensive and defensive stats and increases the damage dealt by the user's moves by 50%. What the hell is this demon? <laughs> This is a demon thing, bro. This is going... This is like a, a borderline Geomancy plus Choice Bamboos. What the hell? Okay, so this is insane, right? Screw everything, right? Screw coverage at this point, right? You're going to have close combat. You're going to have Leaf Blade. You're going to have Victory Dance. And you're going to have Recover. That's all you need. That is all you need on this Pokemon. Holy crap. The user performs a dance to usher in victory. This raises the user's offensive and defensive stats and increases the damage dealt by the user's moves by 50%. Bro, this move might get banned. Like, this mod already has hustle. Granted, it can miss. But still, dude, it's 105 speed and 105 attack. That is insane. That's actually insane. No, I mean, it doesn't have the best coverage, thank God. Because, like, I mean, this is, this is going to hit like Cartana on steroids. It gets attack boost and 50% boost. This is literally going to hit like Cartana on steroids. And Cartana's already a demon, as it is. Then again, Cartana's like, what, base 180 attack versus 105? Maybe it's not even going to hit like Cartana on steroids, because Cartana is on steroids itself. But that's insane, right? That's absolutely insane. So, Victory Dance, Recover, Leaf Blade, Close Combat could work. Uh, you could also do Sleep Powder, Victory Dance, Leaf Blade, Close Combat. I'm sure Aerial Ace can fit in there somewhere, maybe if you're worried about a random Vile Plume or some crap like that. All right, let us look up Basque Legion. Basque Legion. All right, so we have male and female. The difference between male and female is that female has higher special attack. Male has higher attack. They both have adaptability. Oh, I should also look up Basculin too. Or Basculin. That mod is actually a demon. So this is a new one. 
Oh, same thing. Same thing. Okay, cool. Cool. We're good. We're good. Alright, so big ones. This is the male one. This is the one with 112 base attack. Aqua Jet. Wave Crash, which we're going to look at real quick. And that I think actually that's the important one to look at because that's going to be what it's water stab that it actually can use. Wave Crash. 75 base power, physical. I already know, 100 pin actually. I already know this thing is going to have like a crazy ability when I look to the side. The user shrouds itself in water and slams into the target with its whole body to inflict damage. It also damages the user and raises the user's action speed. So, yeah, alright. So it's going to take recoil, like a double edge type of thing, but it also raises your action speed. Now, I'm not sure how that's going to translate to, again, Pokemon in uh, the, the way we all know, but. Again, this is why these videos are theory mining and just fun to talk about because like it's cool to think about this action speed that's relevant to legends arceus but if this is a recoil move 75 base power which is really low for a recoil move by the way most recoil moves are a little bit stronger even submission is a little bit stronger just just barely but it is a little bit stronger it can miss too um but it raises their action speed well, let's let's see what if that if that changes to actual speed instead of action speed they just change the actual speed just change the, the a word they're using there that could mean an insane thing for adaptability basket legion right for both of them both of them would run this the special one and the physical just because it would raise their speed they take a little bit of recoil they're good but besides that doesn't really have any ghost stab to work with so let's look at basket legion here please oh i, I put i put bas my bad i can spell one day whatever man google Google's all you need. All right, so we have Ice Fang, whatever, Shadow Ball, whatever, Aqua Tail. Besides that, is the best water move. Are you kidding me? Ice Beam, Psychic. It's definitely looking better on the special side, uh, but it doesn't even have a special water move. <laughs> this guy needs to get something, bro. Are you kidding me? So, yeah, this guy gets nothing. Oh, my God. We have Hex, though. Hex looks awesome. Hex looks awesome. Um, we have nothing to actually status you. Okay, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball. So, if it can't status, I mean, obviously, if you have it, like, with Poison to or Toxic Spikes, maybe that in the future, obviously. Uh, Wave Crash, Raise the Speed, that's good for that. Aqua Jet, that's good for adaptability sets as well. There's freaking nothing here. Aqua Tail would be the one you want for, but you want Liquidation when you're looking at a Water Pokemon, right? Because you want a move that doesn't miss and has a good secondary effect. Aqua Tail's strong, but it can miss. And then on top of that, that's it. Ice Fang for grass. That's it, man. Damn, dude. Doesn't have anything on the ghost side for physical. So that's really disappointing. Hoping we get Poltergeist when it comes to the next game. And in terms of special, having Calm Mind plus 100 base special attack, you do Calm Mind, Wave Crash, what? Then you can't even go for water moves on your on your special side. Damn, bro. They bet this is why this this woman looks sad, dude. <laughs> that's no move pool. Alright, let's look at Zoroark. That is that is something I'm hoping because that gets similar stuff to before. Or to later again these are only in-game move sets i'm sure it gets other stuff so we see bitter malice which would be its new move and uh what does bitter malice do where are you my friend then am i blind yes i am it is special 60 base power oh if it's special it probably gives a status condition and then doubles right yep because all these 60 base power do that the user targets its tar attack the user attacks its target with spine i thought it said the user attacks its target spine like damn that is no chill like no pun intended that's crazy chilling resentment this may also leave the target with frostbite this move power is doubled if the target has a status condition and we know what frostbite is uh they um well that's the new thing that if i'm not mistaken it means they take damage at the end of the turn. It's kind of like being burnt. And uh, it also lowers your special attack. So if that's not mistaken, I could look to check, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. And I would like to trust myself just so I can remember it. That's how I remember things. So that's a really cool thing, obviously. Uh, it has 30% status. So that's that's a good move. Obviously, it's a, it's a normal and, and ghost type. Um, it has 100 attack and 125 special attack, right? So Shadow Sneak is always cool. That's stab. We see Shadow Ball plus Nasty Plot. That's awesome. And now we're going to look at this and pray they give it anything else. You better still have something. Please. All right. Sludge Bomb. Cool. Good coverage. Shadow Ball. Yeah. Hyper Beam. Flamethrower. Good coverage. All right. So no normal stab on the uh, on the special side. And barely on the physical side too. You got Giga Impact right there. Being about to use that. 
Slash and Swift. I ain't about to use Swift on a mall without Technician. All right, I barely like to use Swift on a mall with Technician. But all right, at least it still has Flamethrower. It still has Sludge Bomb, which is great. Um, I don't see no Sucker Punch here, but again, that could just be because it's not in the game, potentially. It could be in the game, but uh, that's just... Again, they, they removed a lot of games uh, moves from here, but these are just like stuff we have now, and they're going to add other games. We're going to have more moves back, right? They, they cut a lot of moves in this game, uh, like Earthquake and Skull in this game, but it doesn't mean they're not going to be in the next game. But we do see Calm Mind. We have Nasty Plot, obviously. We have Flamethrower. We have Shadow Ball. We have Sludge Bomb. Good coverage. Good coverage. That's, that's pretty decent coverage right there, so I like that. And uh, it could be better. And obviously, Bitter Malice is a pretty cool move, too. Uh, we do see Swords Dance on Zorak with the option of nothing to actually use it. Are you kidding me? I guess Zor Zorak is not. Is regular Zorak not in the game? That would make sense considering, yeah, there's only this one. All right, no problem. So now we have Bravier. Now, this one I'm a little bit excited for because uh, people were telling me, yeah, Bravier learns Hurricane and uh, Close Combat by Level Up. I don't see Hurricane on regular Bravier. I do see Sewer Power, though, but that doesn't mean this guy learns it. All right, so we see Hurricane level 52. Freaking awesome. This thing has Shear Force. 112 base special attack. Hell yeah. We still see Roost. Awesome. Air Slash. Cool. And then we see Esper Wing, which I'm assuming is... Oh, I think I already looked at it, but it's Psychic. It's going to be Psychic. The user slashes the target with Aura and Rich Wings. This also raises the user action speed. This move also has a heightened chance to land a crit. It's going to be Psychic. We have no idea, but it's going to be Psychic. It, it's, it says... Es it's called Esper Wing. It's going to be Psychic. Okay. That's it. I... I well, then again... Zapdos is and no thunderous kick is still a fighting move like it sounds like a fighting move fiery wrath could be fire or dark to be honest and then freezing the lair could 100 percent be <laughs> ice well i pray it's psychic because it actually gives it a nice little one and on top of that uh i mean it does have sheer force anyway so i guess i don't know how much it'll actually matter but we see hurricane which is awesome for sheer force sets and then Braviar, and it still has base 83 attack too, so don't get me wrong, like, and he has Defiant as well. So, Braviar gets Mystical Fire, freaking awesome, you love to see Mystical Fire on Psychic types, being able to hit Steel types, that's in him as well, so that's cool too, being able to hit Dark types, so I mean your Hurricane's gonna mash him, and we see Psychic as well, so that's great, and that's gonna be boosted by Sheer Force too, so Psychic and your Hurricane, basically what you want right there, um, Power Shift is interesting, doesn't really benefit this Pokemon in any way, shape, or form because it has worse defensive stats than it does offensive stats. Uh, Ominous Wind doesn't matter at all. Uh, Shadow Claw. Yeah, so Psychic doesn't leave a Mystical Fire. I, I love that it has Mystical Fire. I think it's really cool. That's the equivalent of like regular Braviary having Heat Wave. So, which I don't even think it ever got Heat Wave either. And it's a flying type as well. Well, then again, this one's special attack is so bad that even if they got Heat Wave, yeah, <laughs> we would not have used it. But Mystical Fire in this guy is awesome. I love that. I love that it's doing that. And now we have Word here. Nice. Come on, give me your move pull. So this is also normal in Psychic if you guys didn't know. Intimidate, Frisk, and Sap Super. 105 attack, 105 special attack. So we're looking for good physical moves, good special moves, decent move pull. So, a few things. Double Edge is actually not terrible in this Pokemon because, again, it is pure, uh, is normal type. So that's a decent physical move to have for it. It's, it. Obviously, the recoil is not always something you want, but that's whatever. Uh, we have Combine here too, so it already had Combine as uh, Stantler, so that's cool that it has that too. Uh, we do see Psy Shield Bash, uh, I'm assuming that's Psychic Physical, so let's look for it. Cloaking itself, oh, it's 70 base power, 90% accuracy. Ugh, I hate 90 accuracy moves, bro. I, I hate anything that's 90 and 95. Not not because like they're not 100, but actually yeah, it is because they're not 100, bro. Like I would trust hitting Focus Blast more usually than I will with... Um, then I will like moves like 90. Like I hate when I miss them. Like, damn, bro, there was only 10% chance. Cloaking itself in second energy, the user slams into the target. This may also raise the user's defense stat. That is awesome. That is an awesome move. All right. That whether it be on choice band or setup or whatever you want to use on this Pokemon. And we're not even looking at its uh move suitors yet. But that is a freaking awesome move. Because not only are you um you got a good stat, you got a good move, right? But this this Pokemon has intimidate, right? So it's already lowering. The, offensive top, uh, the offensiveness of the Pokemon in front of them as long as they're physical, which is the same thing as almost buffing your defense. But this thing can also raise your defense. So even though it's only 65 base speed, it does have 103 HP, which is a really good HP number. Uh, so it kind of balances out that 72 and 75 uh, defense, uh, special defense. But being able to make that 72 plus one is awesome. 
So I like Psy Shield Bash a lot. That is going to be obviously standard on this mon whenever it comes out. Or deer. And let's look at this Pokemon right here. So a few other things it has. So it's Energy Ball, like a Stantler. Uh, we have Wild Sh We have High Horsepower. Freaking perfect. There's no Earthquake in this game, so I'm assuming it will get Earthquake later. But uh, we can have the placeholders High Horsepower there. Uh, we have Combine for special sets, which will include Psychic, Thunderbolt, and Energy Ball or Shadow Ball for coverage. Uh, Charge Beam as well if you don't want to use Combine things. Bulldoze as well as High Horsepower. So again, like I said, I'm 100% sure it's going to have Earthquake in the future. Uh, but in terms of least physical, even if it didn't have Earthquake in the future, you still have High Horsepower. You still have Double Edge. You still have your Psy Shield Bash. And then as your last coverage, you can do something like Mega Horn if your team is weak to, to, to Celebi. <laughs> Uh, it's just good versus uh, Lotties as well, uh, or you can do Wild Charge. You want to hit something like Waters and Flyers a little bit higher. So I actually love this Pokemon's move pool, and I know it's gonna get more. We, all these Pokemon are gonna get more in the future games, but I love this. I'm glad it has this stuff. Cool. That is one of the ones I'm happier about. So now we're gonna look at Avalug. Now Avalug has Strong Jaw, Ice Body, and Sturdy. Avalug. All right, Mountain Gale. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Ice, ooh, you did not have Ice Shard before. So that's cool, because Avalug, if you guys don't know, Asuina, Avalug has 127 base attack. So this is, I mean, I mean, you have a Dragon Dance Guard, you have a Swords Dance Guard Chomp, you have, uh, and even though this thing is Ice and Rock, I don't even think plus two Earthquake KOs, um, unless it's Life Orb. You have Swords Dance Guard Chomp, Dragon Dance, Dragon Knight, all these mods. They finally give this mod priority. I think that's really cool on a base 127 one. It's probably gonna be something that runs. Uh, Strong Draw, so we still have Crunch, which is awesome too. I think Earth Power, which is whatever. The rest of these moves don't really matter. Rock Slide obviously does matter, but it also learns Stone Edge because Avalug learns Stone Edge naturally. So we'll see that in another one probably. But we have Mountain Gale. I like that. I like that attack. Mountain Gale. All right. Ice Physical 185. The user hurls giant chunks of ice at the target to inflict damage. This may also cause the target to flinch. It will not cause the target to flinch, okay? Let me tell you why it will not cause the target to flinch. You have 38 base speed. The target will not be flinching. Unless you're on trick room. But that's pretty cool. Uh, 85, 100. That's, I mean, that's Icicle Crash, right? But better <laughs> on the physical side. Um, and if it does have Ice Fang still, which we do not see here. Huh. Let's see, I have a look on this side. Because Ice Fang is boosted by Strong Jaw. Why can I not find Avalog? Thank you. Stealth Rock. So that's really cool too. Ice Fang. Yep. Uh, so this is interesting because. Ice Fang might actually end up being better. It's like 97 base power versus 100, but it has less of a chance to miss than this move. Can also flinch and freeze the opponent, uh, as well, though the freezing is in this game. Uh, we do see Stone Edge as well, which is great for the rock type attacks. Um, we see Hyros power. It's probably going to get Earthquake later. Always good. Power Shift is interesting. Um, it can make that 184 defense, 184 attack, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we see not really much else. Yeah, not really too much else there. We see Ice Fang, we have Stone Edge, Stealth Rock, Power Shift for fun stuff like that. That'll make your Ice Shard even stronger. Stone Edge, yeah. High Ice Power. Yeah, I mean, I like the coverage it has. We also have Crunch on the other side as well, which is also still boosted by Strong Draw. So I like this. I do like the buff that it has now of having Ice Shard. I think that's a big buff for it. And I, I think people really underestimate that because, like, yeah, it's slow and stuff. And yeah, it can normally check dragons and stuff as a normal Avalug, right? With heavy duty boots and avalanche and stuff like that but now it doesn't even have to take a hit to revenge kill these mons right so that's interesting uh, and now we have gudra right, so we got gudra right here with the move shelter i mean this is slagoo slagoo but uh, i'm sure it still has let's look at this guy acid armor bubble water pulse gudra is dragon and steel by the way acid armor iron head dragon pulse shelter and hydro pump. So, Gudra, if you guys didn't know, has 100 attack, 110 special attack, 100 defense, 150 special defense. So, 80 HP. Uh, let's see what Shelter does. Does it give you a defense raise or something? Status move. The user makes its skin hard as an iron shield, raising its defensive stats. Yes. Incoming moves also become more likely to miss. Jeez. Oh, I already knew this. Yeah, this one's busted. Uh, this is, uh, they, they, it raises your evasion and it boosts your defense. Uh, this, this would not be allowed. In competitive Pokemon, uh, simply because, or at least in 66 competitive Pokemon, simply because anything with evasion is typically banned. Um, 
I mean, it's a good move, right? It already has 100 defense, 150 special defense. Uh, I'm sure it learned rest as well. And But this is too much. Evasion is always no-no when it comes to Pokemon, right? Though Mud Slap and moves like that can be used, so it's interesting. And you can use Flash as well. As long as you're not raising your own evasion, you can ra uh, you can lower other people's. Yeah, I, I doubt. I doubt this is allowed. It's a really good move. Um, but really cool move, at least nonetheless, right? That this Pokemon has, like, to have to be a Pokemon that has a move ban, it's a, it's an honor. <laughs> but in terms of coverage, awesome coverage, just like Gujarat. Yep, we have uh, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Draco Meteor, Steel Beam. Yeah, awesome freaking coverage. I'm pretty sure some of this stuff got nerfed and buffed as well. Uh, the moves, most of the moves actually all got like changed in a certain way. That they're weaker or something in this game. That's not. I don't think that's gonna carry over. And then on physical side, we also have Iron Head, Rock Slide, Elemental Punches, Rest. Yeah, overall, I am very happy about his move pool. It's basically Gudra, right, with Iron Head. <laughs> it's Gudra, Iron Head, and Flash Cannon. Uh, and Shelter's pretty nasty, too. Luckily, it didn't get Recover. I, I do say luckily because in this game, that sounds broken, right? You boost your defenses, you raise your evasion, and you can recover. That sounds insane. Uh, but, yeah, this with Sap Sipper sounds pretty cool, too. People were saying Overcoat. I mean, why would you use Overcoat when you could just use Sap Sipper anyway? And the reason I'm saying that is because Dragon Steel isn't going to be hit by Sand anyway. Only Hail will hit you. So Overcoat's meaningless for the most part. Uh, and at least Sap Sipper, yes, you do resist those grass type attacks. But, I mean, being able to come in on a Brilliant's attack, being able to always come in on Sleep Powder and get an attack raise out of it if you're running physical, hell yeah. I think you'd always want to do that. It just, it just, sounds, it just does more for you. It literally just does more for you. But yeah. Cleaver, Cleavor. Let's look at you. So, Stealth Rock. Yep. Stone Axe. Yeah, we were not close combat. And this is one of the huge buffs this Pokemon has too, because you see close combat right there, right? Let's look at Scizor. Scizor also now has close combat. You better sit down, Heatran. You better sit down right now, because my boy. I made a video. I made a video about close combat. And Scissor was on that list. And Weavile. Hold up. Hold up. Ho hold up. Oh. You're lucky. You're lucky. But yeah, that's one of the insane buffs, right? That not that not an insane buff? They gave Scissor a close combat. It already has superpower, right? It already has superpower. But now, nah, I ain't lowering my attack stat, bro. I'm strong as hell. I am strong as hell. You better sit down, Skarmory, too. But yeah. So. Cleavor has Swarm, Shear, Force, and Steadfast. Stone Axe, we've already looked at that before. Xs are cool. Uh, I don't see no U-turn, but we do have close combat. That's awesome coverage. I love that. Stealth Rock as well. Stone Axe can also get up its own version of Splinters, which are what Stealth Rock are too. And then Cleavor. Let's see what you have here, buddy. So we see Rock Slide and Stone Edge. Rock Slide also boosted by Shear Force. Um, Psycho Cut, which is what Scissor already got. Nothing too, too crazy. We do see Swords Dance as well on the other one. I wish I got a Celerock. I really do. I would, I would love that for this, especially because it's, it's not even slow, right? It's 85, 135. Like, it's good. And 95 defense, 70 special defense. It's Cleaver's good. Cleaver's good, for sure. But, uh, and X Scissor is going to have to be used as bug physical moves, right? Because I don't see no U turn here. I want to look at Scissor as well, just to be, just see, because, I mean, we're talking about some crazy bugs, right? We got to look at Scissor too. Come on. <laughs> the f you. Huh? <laughs> you have power shift somewhere I didn't see? Bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, if there's any Pokemon that looks common collected, it's definitely a Scizor, but what? <laughs> Wait, why'd they give it to Heracross too? Why'd they give you Calm Mind? It also has Outrage, which I don't think it had before. Interesting. Yeah, it gets Calm Mind. That is, that is, that is wild. What the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's look at Ursa Luna. That is, that is funny. That is actually very funny. Ursa Luna is right here too. So, high-rise power, double edge, headlong rush. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna take recoil and raise an Omni Boost, huh? That already looks like, bro. That mall look crazy. Physical, 100 base power, 100 accuracy. The user smashes the target in a full body tackle. This also lowers the user's defensive stats. All right, 100 base power. I'm assuming this is normal. I'm assuming it's normal type. 
right? There's nothing crazy about it. It's just literally, it's like wild. It's like head charge, right? You're literally just running into the opponent. So I'm assuming that it is um, normal type. We don't know yet, but I'm assuming it's normal. 100, 100, 5. Yeah, it's like head charge without taking recoil. It lowers your defensive stats. Now, this can be used on bulletproof sets. And I wasn't thinking about bulletproof too much because I was just thinking about it's 140 base attack and um, how crazy facade is with guts. But bulletproof does have some pretty cool ones. What is it? Aura Sphere gets... Uh, you're immune to that energy ball you're immune to that as well which is pretty cool considering you're ground and normal so that might actually be like used on bulletproof sets for sure well, this mod, <laughs> that mod kind of crazy bro uh double edge whatever no, higher power would be stabbing this but i'm assuming you get earthquake later let's look at ursa luna right here ursa luna Thunder punch. We have the elemental punches, fire punch, thunder punch, and ice punch. Awesome. We have higher power. We have stone edge. Great, 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 great. No spikes. We have bulk up, which is cool too. No swords dance. What about uh, Ursa Ring? Did you get anything crazy in this, buddy? Where are you? Focus energy, bulk up. No swords dance as well. Maybe that's not in the game. No, it is in the game. I saw no sneezer. Uh, so bulk up, elemental punches, higher power, stone edge, whatever. No facade either and what about do you get it here do you get head head crush here too high rise power and double edge okay cool so yeah i'm assuming that is legitimately just a normal move that this mod now gets that's you know cool for it like it's just supposed to be another buff one and of course we have typhlosion i hate spelling this pokemon's name i got it right let's freaking go gyro ball whatever eruption so this one's still at oh that's the wrong one excuse me infernal parade which we already knew about Ah, uh -huh, this one. Okay, they got rid of eruption on this, so they they at least differentiate the two, right? Because like I would always use this one if it had eruption, just because it also has great ghost moves. So they differentiate the two, and obviously the regular type is faster as well. We already know what Inferno Parade does. It's a ghost type hex that's weaker. That's that's what it is. That can status them as well. So use your attacks with a fireball, and then also leave the target to burn. Yeah, it's a, it's a ghost type attack that can burn them. It becomes 120 base power. Awesome move, obviously, right? There's no. There's no drawbacks to that move. That move is going to be on every set. Uh, Combine is a pretty awesome thing for this Pokemon too. So I like that. Uh, it does have 84 base attack as well. And we do see uh, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Drain Punch. We also see Mystical Fire, Shadow Ball, Wild Charge as well. Uh, I still think this mod would be running special sets though. And Combine plus... Uh, Combine plus its fire move like Flamethrower uh, plus like... It's Infernal Parade and doesn't really have anything else that kind of fits there. Huh. That's a little bit sad. Maybe mix with Drain Punch. Eh. I'll figure that out. Anything here? Shadow Ball Overheat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you just use Specs with Overheat, Infernal Parade. Uh, why do you have... This guy misses some moves, man. On the physical side, been, I know Typhlosion uses three moves anyway, right? Like I know Typhlosion uses Eruption, Flamethrower, you got Focus Blast. <laughs> and then your other move is whatever you want to make here. Solar me if you're on Sun Teams. But yeah, missing something here. Still not the worst move pull. Let's look at Samurott. So this one's dark as well. It's like a regular Samurott. Nothing. God, that's a terrible move. I never want to see that again. So, Swords Dance, Ceaseless Edge. We've already seen that as well. But we'll look at it again just to be safe. Also has 108 attack and 100 special attack. So we do have Dark Pulse and Hydro Pump. Awesome on special attack set obviously and we looked at this yesterday but we'll look at it again where is it ceaseless edge 65 90 the user slashes shell blade at the target aiming to land a critical hit shell splinters left behind by this attack will continue to damage the target for several turns which are like the equivalent of like dark type stealth rock or whatever they're different splinters from different moves um but it's physical and it can crit which is pretty cool and it leaves splinters. so that's a good move on swords ends right and we also saw aqua jet uh, as well, so that's good on water type attacks, and we see Aqua Tail. So, I mean, overall, this Pokemon has what it wants, right? Swords Ants, Aqua Jet, Ceaseless Edge, and Aqua Tail. I'm just going to assume that there's no waterfall in this game as well. And then here we have other coverage that it can run on physical attacks as well. Uh, poison Jab for fairies, eh, maybe. Psycho Cut is whatever. X Scissors, whatever. Mega Horn is just stronger X Scissors, but you don't generally like bug coverage unless you feel that. Uh, maybe bug coverage ain't that bad to be honest like 
dealing with other crawdon and other water darks, like all the other ones that outclass it in certain ways, just mega horn them. That's interesting. And you resist their hits too. That's not bad. Not bad. I think this one actually has like the best stats out of all of them, right? Like 90 HP, 108 attack, 80 defense, 100 special attack. 65 special defense is like the worst thing, but then it has 85 speed. So, not bad, to be honest. Actually not terrible. And then we have Decidueye. This is going to be a little bit longer of a video, if you can't tell. We're already 45 minutes. I'm just going through these ones. I didn't even show you guys like the cool buffs on the other mods either. So, <coughs> Decidueye, excuse me. 112 attack, 95 special attack. Right, so obviously Aura Sphere I see right there, which is pretty cool. We already saw Triple Arrows as well. Uh, we'll read it here though, just because we saw it in another video. User delivers an Axe Kick, then fires three arrows. This raises the chance of its future attacks landing critical hits, and also lowers the target's defense stats. It's a really good move, right? 50 base power, 100% accuracy. Um, your, your other ones have a chance of landing crits, and it also lowers the defense. So it's a really good move for breaking, and it can be cool on swords and sets and whatever. But other physical moves, obviously Leaf Blade is great. We have Brave Bird still. And then on special sets, we still have Air Slash. We have Air Slash, which is cool. Leaf Storm. Um, well, Air Slash doesn't matter because it's Grass Fighting. But we have Aura Sphere and Leaf Storm, which is nice. It still has Roost, which is great too. Uh, and then Decidueye. Energy Ball, Psycho Cut, Bulk Up is nice. There's no spikes. Huh. I mean, that's cool. That's a cool thing for Decidueye. I feel like there's like times where I have a Decidueye and I... Like, even the standard, right? And I usually go for U-turn with it. But to have spikes is really nice because I, have, I expect them to switch. I like that. It's also really cool. Like, I, I really, really like that. So that's a great thing. It also has bulk up now, which is something I don't think it had before. I had sword that's a massive plot. It did not have bulk up. So bulk up is really interesting too because it has uh, like 88 HP, 80 defense, 95 special defense. So it can actually use a bulk up set with the triple arrows plus roost plus uh, leaf blade. And... Other sets can also include spikes, so that's a pretty big buff for this Pokemon too. And then let's look at Enamorous. Enamorous. So, a few things I wanted for this Pokemon because it does have Contrary uh, is the whole Floor Cannon, which wasn't going to happen, and Super Power because all the other genies have it. Now, I don't think it has Super Power now, but that's only because of the fact that it. I think it's in this game, right? Like, if I look at. Let's look at Tornadus real quick. Tornadus doesn't have super power, but it normally does. Like, it can normally learn super power. So I'm assuming you're going to get it later by, like, Move Tutor. Damn it. <laughs> Did I spell your name right? Yes. Okay. First try. Uh, so it's Fairy and Flying. It does have Hurricane. We do see Moon Blast, though, which is awesome. We see Draining Kiss as well. We see Iron Defense plus Draining Kiss, which is pretty good. I mean, 70 base defense, but, like, you're pretty fast, 106. So Iron Defense plus Draining Kiss is something you could run. We've seen that ran on top of Lilies as well if they didn't want to break. Uh, Moon Blast, obviously a big one. Spring Tide Storm, which we shall read uh, real quick. But Fairy Special 95, 80 Accuracy. Ew. <laughs> the user attacks by wrapping the target in fierce winds, brimming with love and hate. The user... The moves additional effects depend on the user's form. Oh yeah, we read that before and I had no idea what the hell that did because we don't know. So it depends on the form. So I need to, I need to know more about this, right? If it's 95 and 80% accuracy, it better give me some type of buff. So I gotta know more about this. Now, if this buff happens to be a boost your stats and it works something or it lowers your stats, like what if this springtime storm lowers your stats but because you're contrary, it buffs your stats? If it's something like that, broken, right? That's just, that's broken. That's actually broken. And then we're gonna look at it here. But we don't know. If anybody knows it already, if they've already played the game. Oh, whoops. If anybody's played the game and knows it, feel free to tell me. Power shift is interesting because it means it can actually... Ooh, this is actually really interesting on the other one. Because the other one, uh, Enamor's Therian, has uh, 115 attack, 110 defense. 115, yeah, 115 attack, 110 defense, 135 special attack, 100 special defense and that. So power shift can be cool on that because you can have higher defenses than you normally have uh but combine i mean you're not gonna run that on contrary sets because you lower your stats mystical fire is awesome mystical fire is awesome earth power is awesome uh as a fairy type the best things you can hear on your move pool are mystical fire and earth power literally are mystical fire and earth power for some reason i can't show you the rest of this let me edit this real quick i didn't realize you can't see the bottom part of this but it has Hyper Beam and Psychic as the other moves. Whatever. Who cares? That, none of that ma matters. Maybe Psychic, but... It has Player F as well, so that's pretty good on physical sides, obviously. But again, Mystical Fire and Earth Power 
are exactly what you want to hear when you're a, a fairy type, right? Like, imagine Xerneas had Mystical Fire or Earth Power. Like, it was already too good with Focus Blast, right? It would be banned even more. Imagine the ability to always Oko Heatran, or the ability to always Oko Feral Thorn a plus two without having to risk missing either. Crazy. So, that's great. Combine's obviously really cool too. Uh, the other genies get, like, nasty plot and stuff. Landers doesn't, but gets bulk up, so... Um, but yeah, Combine is obviously cool, but not with contrary sets. Uh, Mystical Fire, Earth Power, probably some of the biggest things we have in this Pokemon. And then I'm trying to think, is the Dialga forms, did they learn anything? Dialga. That's it? You're not going to show me the, the other forms of them? Alright, that's cool. What about here? Dialga and, and them get anything? Flamethrower, everything you already had. I see everything here. Bulk up. Steel Beam. I don't know if you had Steel Beam before, but I see that. Anything crazy for you? Hyper Beam. Water Pulse. All the same crap. Alright, so now, let's take a look at uh, other mons that got buffed. Which I think is pretty cool. So, we're going to look at we're gonna look at Close Combat for one. 18 Pokemon Close Combat. That's whatever. That's whatever. There's one in particular I want to show you, but I just want to make sure that we're not missing any as well. The one is Toxicroak as I want to show you, which I think is awesome. Obviously, Scyther also having close combat. Insane, right? Absolutely insane. Because I think Scyther might be the most insane with this because it's fast as hell, right? This is very exciting. Because Scyther didn't even have sewer power previously. It had Brick Break. So Scyther getting close combat. Imagine Heavy Duty Boots Scyther, Swords Dance, Close Combat, U-Turn, and Dual Wing Beat. This mod probably got buffed the most when it comes to this, right? Probably got buffed the most when it comes to it. And there's so many things here, man, that I have to look at. But look at close combat. Yeah, Saraptor. Yeah, Lopini. Raolu, that. Yep, this is the big one. So these are two big ones, right? Both Toxic Croak and Krogunk both now have close combat and earth power. So two pretty big buffs. Earth power in particular is really interesting on Nasty Plot sets because one Pokemon that completely walled Nasty Plot Toxicroak in OU was Toxifect. Even though Toxicroak technically walls it back because it's poison so it can't be toxic and it has dry skin so it can't be scalded. But it got walled either way. But now my homie can plus two earth power knock you out. That is pretty sick. That is pretty sick. So that's that. Close combat and Gallade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Galate is flamethrower now, by the way. Like, that's wild. Galate got access to flamethrower now. And anything else? Close out with you, Cleaver, Sneasler. Alright, so, that's one I want to show. Now we're going to look at Roost. So, the mods that got Roost, 19 Pokemon. Uh-huh, yep, that's standard, standard, standard. And if any mods it goes on, I'm just looking at their move pool as well, but there's another mod that I want to show. Obviously, this one is a pretty big one. I talked about it before. This is an insane buff for Piplup and Empoleon, both offensive and defensive Pokemon. Absolutely insane for them. Also, I like that this one got Raging Fury as well. Uh, but absolutely insane. Oh, Liquidation's in this game too, and this homie got it. Nice. Glad. Wave Crash is also really good for uh, Empoleon as well. Like, that's a pretty big buff. Torterra, you got anything? Headlong Rush. Oh, Headlong Rush might actually be ground type. If Torterra gets it, then it's And Torterra also got Sleep Powder, right? Torterra got Sleep Powder. Like, what the hell? They gave Torterra Sleep Powder. And again, Headlong Rush might actually be a ground type attack then. Oh, that's cool. So it's probably ground uh, if Torterra gets it. We have Roost there. Keep them going. Roost, Roost, Roost. This is not the one I want to show you. Just looking through them all while we're doing it. Roost. You have Hurricane, which play rough, whatever. Combine, double edge. Again, we're just like looking at everything. And we have this. This is one. They gave Finneon and Luminion Roost. Now, these Pokemon might be some of the worst Pokemon to ever exist, right? But one of the things that Luminion can do is Storm Drain, can U-Turn, can Defog. It's, it was basically Crappy Pelipper. But now it's even more defined as Crappy Pelipper because it has Roost. And it's also, you know, not <laughs> four times a week to electric. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so... That's a pretty nice one. That's a pretty nice buff as well. Uh, having that longevity, trying to see if there's anything else they gave this one to uh, help it out. But yeah, so that's a pretty good one. And let's see if there's anything else they got Roost that shouldn't have. Blah, blah. All right, so the other one I wanted to look up was Aurasphere. So we have five Pokemon Aurasphere. And look, we landed on the one I wanted to show you. 
Gardevoir now has access to Aura Sphere, so no longer does it have to use physical, uh, mystical fire. What I mean, it should be using mystical fire, but no longer does it have to use Focus Blast. So that's a pretty big buff for Gardevoir in itself, uh, obviously. Because I mean, Gardevoir is a sick Pokemon. To have Mist, uh, Aura Sphere is sick. And then if you look at Gardevoir over here, hey, can you bring me Gardevoir? Thank you. It still has Mystical Fire, which is awesome. Something it lost in, in BDSP, but it got it back. So that's really cool. And Gallade, just want to make sure you have anything interesting. I mean, you have a lot of interesting stuff here. The fact that you get Flamethrower now is crazy. And it gets Ice Beam and Thunderbolt too. What the hell? There's no way Gallade has any of those moves. I would have known that. Yeah. Flamethrower, Ice Beam. You do have Thunderbolt though. Okay, you do have Thunderbolt. But, damn, man. Like, why are they giving this homie so much? Bro, you don't need that. You do not need that. They also, this is another big buff. They gave Proa Pass Fire Punch and Thunder Punch and Ice Punch. So now the Pokemon that could trap you with Magnapul can actually be Feral Throw without having to body press and stuff. Isn't that sick? And I can actually hit Pokemon like Gliscor and Landorus upon switching. These banded Ice Punches, bro. These banded Ice Punches from, what is it, 75 base attack? Let's see, Pro Pass. Jesus Christ, it's 55. They about to do nothing. But it's the thought that. Oh, you already had Ice Punch. You already had Fire Punch too. What am I thinking of? What was I thinking of that didn't have this? Oh, I was thinking of Magnazone. <laughs> Ignore me. I got all excited there for, for no reason. Uh, Power Shift is a new move that I think is really interesting that Pokemon get. Is it? Is it called Power Shift? Oh, whoops, that would be in the move tutor section. Sorry about that. Power. So we have 28 Pokemon with Power Shift. So Regigigas is one of them. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world for Regigigas, considering it already has. Ah, I don't think it's good for Regigigas. But this is the big one. Cress can have more offensive power. It can calm mind up, and then it can Power Shift. Or it can power shift first and do it. So Crush can actually be a freaking threat. Crush can actually be an offensive threat. So that's crazy. Power shift on that doesn't really matter. I don't think power shift on Thunderous matters too, too much. As well. That mom we already discussed. This is interesting. Power shift Gengar. Isn't this so cool? Isn't this so cool? Like, guys, this is cool. Onyx, the Pokemon that should have been strong as hell, which has 45 defense, 45 attack and 160 defense, goes for power shift, has 160 attack now because of that. That is such a sick buff for Onyx and obviously Steelix in the same regard. Um, Mr. Mime can do uh, something similar. Eh, not really. Flareon is whatever. I mean, it can actually it can actually run special sets now because Flareon has good special defense. So that's pretty cool for Flareon as well. 110. But it already had good special attack as well. So it doesn't really have the move to do anything. But it does have Calm Mind now, which is something that Flareon definitely did not have before. So Flareon has access to Calm Mind. And we'll look at Calm Mind in a bit because, I mean, Jolteon also has access to Calm Mind now, which is crazy. Uh, again, something that Jolteon didn't have. And... This is a pretty big one too. Vaporeon also has access to Calm Mind. So Vaporeon can Calm Mind Rest or Calm Mind Wish later, right? And then you have Surf plus Ice Beam. Now again, maybe it won't keep this later. We'll see. But we have Power Shift on Umbreon, but Umbreon never had the best attack. But Umbreon also has Calm Mind. But yeah, Steelix getting Power Shift, man. That's a big one. That's a big one that I wanted to look at. Uh, I don't care too much about Mantine. Jesus Christ, Blissey. Y'all imagine power shifting on Blissey, and then all that special defense is coming to its special attack. And that five attack and defense are swapping for five each. Oof, that's a trade, bro. But yeah, that uh, 10. But yeah, that 135 special defense becoming that special attack stat, you better you better watch out. Don't be sleeping. Don't be sleeping. Oh yeah, power shift for uh for Pro Pass means the physical sets can work too. Power shift for Dust Clops is obviously in Dust Gold and all that is really nice. I don't think that matters too much for this homie right here. This is obviously one that matters as well. Uh, Bastion on getting it because it has no attack, but now it could. The big one I want to talk about, one of these I care too much about, 
Not you. Going looking at their moves to make sure. Not you too much. Glyscore, you already have everything, bro. They gave Glyscore spikes as well. Like, they gave Glyscore spikes. As if it wasn't already the most annoying Pokemon in existence with its Toxic Keel, Protect, Sub Roost, Swords Dance, Facade, U Turn, Defog, Stealth Rock. They said, hey, you know what? Let's throw some spikes on this Flying Scorpion and make it even better. What the hell, bro? Just checking the man, so I learned anything crazy here too. Nope. I don't think that matters on much on you, but I think that matters on the other Porygons as well, unless they don't learn it. Uh, this is the big one I want to look at. Like power shift on this guy's whatever. Did they give you flamethrower? No, they didn't give you flamethrower yet, which is I mean good for <laughs> everyone. But wait, why where why is Uxie not here? There it is. They gave Uxie power shift. Now this is pretty big. Considering Uxi doesn't have the best offensive stats, but it has incredible defensive stats, right? So they gave this Pokemon power shift. So this means this can actually be an offensive threat too. Oh, one of the one I wanted to look at was recover. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Let's look at recover right here. There's some Pokemon that got recover as well. We already have Zan, that's whatever, that's whatever, that's whatever, that's whatever, that's whatever. They gave Gardevoir recover. It doesn't have the wish. They gave Gardevoir recover. I should have seen this before. It was right next to Orsier. But they gave Gardevoir recover. Or I should have said this before. Insane, right? Absolutely insane. Uh, Chemic already had it. They gave this thing recover instead of roost, which is funny. <laughs> I mean, that's better, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know if that's better. Uh, you already had it. You already had it. You. You. They gave Mesper recover too, guys. Like, whoa. They gave Mesprit Recover as well. So this one, before, the only way it really differentiated itself from Uxie and Azelf was that it had Healing Wish, and it could be like some combination of the two. But now it has Recovery. So Combine Recover sets actually get that much uh, scarier. And I'm going to look at Mystical Power. The user strengthens itself with a Mysterious Power. If it excels in offense, it, offensive stats are raised. If it excels in defense, its defensive stats are raised. That is insane, especially with Recover. So you're just boosting your defenses plus Recover. So that is absolutely insane on this is there anything else i want to see that had recover oh yeah they, they gave cresselia recover <laughs> they gave cresselia recover <laughs> as if moonlight wasn't bad enough you were like nah let's give it a little bit more and let's look at lunar blessing real quick as well as take heart from manaphy uh so lunar blessing is the user heals its own status condition to restore its hp to 50 percent incoming moves also are more likely to miss another move that's going to be banned this is even better than Recover. It gets rid of status conditions, restores its HP 50%, which is equivalent to Recover, and incoming moves are becoming more likely to miss. Now, this is definitely an in-game move just because they want to make Catch and Crest hard as hell, right? But what the hell, bro? You heal yourself, you get rid of status, and you raise your evasion. Another move that's going to be completely banned. But take heart. The user lifts the spirit, healing its own status conditions, and raises offensive and defensive stats. That's really cool for Manaphy, considering they got rid of Tail Glow in this. So that's a pretty nice one, right? It heals its status conditions, raises offensive and defensive capabilities, making Manaphy that much even scarier, right? That, that actually looks very scary, uh, for sure. I think they buffed Dark Void as well. There was more Pokemon that got it. Yep, they gave Shaman Recover. What the hell? <laughs> and Sleep Powder. They gave Shaman Recover and Sleep Powder. Arceus, you're already a, a demon in yourself. I don't need to see this. Yeah, we already knew you got recover, which is pretty crazy. And then you already know you have recover. We already know you have recover. So that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty nasty buff, if I have to say anything for these mods. Uh, let's see what else got sleep powder in this because that seems to be all the rage. We already have you, you, blossom. We already had it. Yeah, we already know it's our territory. You guys. You already know you, 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 you. All right, nothing, nothing crazy over here as well. There's a few more that I wanted to look at that looked really nasty too. Like some of these Pokemon, and again, guys, like if there's stuff I'm missing, definitely tell me later. Like I don't, I would love to know what I'm missing as well. Um, Toxico got that. Glaceon still doesn't get anything. Rotoforce doesn't have the special moves. Okay, forgive that. I think Ralspo was also telling me stuff. But did get spikes. Garchomp doesn't get good ground moves. Or Sphere, I still forget them, but Victory Dance. Jesus Christ. 
my god, man. This this is crazy, bro. I can't believe they gave spikes to that Pokemon. Like, I actually can't. I'm just looking through make sure there's anything else that we might be missing. What are some other moves that come to mind? Priority moves. Sleeping. Is that, I, those are the main ones I want to show you guys. I'm just trying to make sure that there's nothing I'm missing as I look at these Pokemon. Sylveon, Kalmai, whatever. You already had Kalmai as well. I can't believe they gave them. <laughs> I can't believe they gave me close combat, dude. I, what are you guys' thoughts? What do you guys think? Like, I feel like some of these are just insane. Why do they give Norvern Moonlight? <laughs> Destiny Ball is something I think Koopa might have had before, but I have to be... I can't have to check out on that. I think Koopa had that before, too. Let's see. I feel like it already had Destiny Mon. Yeah, we just never used it because why would you use that on a base 160, 170? You know what I mean? Like, why the hell would I use that? But yeah, overall, I think that's the majority of them. You guys can go through the list on your own and see if there's anything else that seems... Let me see. Oh, let me see Ice Beam. There's one other thing. I just want to check Ice Beam here. There's too many Pokemon to learn it. I'm going to go until I see Pokemon that don't have that aren't supposed to have Ice Beam. Okay. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah, yeah, you already had it. You already had it. So did you. Everything else, these are just Ice and Water. These are just Water types that get it. Gardevoir gets Ice Beam. like there. Bro, they buffed the hell out of Gardevoir. You give it Mystical Fire, you give it Aura Sphere, you give it Ice Beam. How the hell am I supposed to pick what moves am I going to use in my Gardevoir, man? Like... <laughs> this this mod gets everything now. I'm not even using Psychic. I'm using Ice Beam, Flame, uh, Mystical Fire, Aura Sphere, and Moonblast. Screw Psychic. I'm gonna get walled by Toxapex. Anything else? No, everything else already here. Already had it. It's just wild, dude. They buffed the hell out of these mods, dude. They really did. There's something I wanted to see on Frost last as well to see if they buffed it in any other way. You know, you still have spikes. Yeah, bro. This is, this is absolutely insane. Like, actually insane. They, they did so much to these Pokemon, dude. But yeah, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, there is Sucker Punch in the game, too. Does anything else get Sucker Punch that didn't have it before as well? Who knows if these actually carry over to the other game? I feel like for the newer Pokemon, it definitely will. But I feel like for some of them, they, they won't either. But I don't know. It's hard to say. Dragapult, did you get anything interesting here as well? It's hard to say, but you don't get no move tutors. You're not in the damn game. Screw you, Dragapult. Or maybe you just don't get no move tutors anyway. Maybe you're just not in the game. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts. It's just me just casually going over this and just looking at some cool, cool buffs that these Pokemon ended up getting. I'm excited. I'm excited to try this stuff out, and I'm definitely excited to... Uh, as much as I'm excited to play this game, obviously in terms of content, it's going to be a little bit interesting because there's, you know, there's no competitive in it, right? But the reason we're talking about this is because these are things that we can easily, easily, easily have in the uh, the generations after. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, let me know. Leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.